Hi friends, welcome to Tugas Funny channel. In our last video, we we done the C Sharp .NET uh, Windows application basics things. In this video, I'm going to teach how to add two numbers. So you have to go to open up the project. So I'm going to open the fresh project, new project. Here I'm going to select the language C Sharp Windows platform, which is a desktop application. This which one is a Windows app. .NET framework. Click next. Here yeah, I'm going to add it. Add numbers. Got to give the meaningful name. Add numbers. Okay. Let's click create. Now if your project is start creating, don't wait until the project is created successfully. Right. It created successfully, you will be able to see it, it is created itself. Right. So here I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to here uh, drag the one label this label right click and properties this label I'm going to is add two numbers add two numbers press enter key here I'm going to with bold, you have write 20. Right click on this form. This form also I am going to write this one also. Uh, you have named this form also text we have given as at two numbers. At two numbers. Press enter key. Now this one I am going to use a label. I already we have discussed about what the label. Right? So I need a in order to do the things we need a we have to put another one is a group box. It's a simple one, it's a group box. I'm going to just drag and drop it. Right? This is a group we have to align the tools. Okay, it's very uh, very very easy stuff to we have to manage the tools using the boots. Uh, group box okay we easily if, if you have a uh, we if we have various option of this software so we have a uh, here we have a one separate form here we have a uh, there is a separate form here there are a separate form we not to manage all the forms right so we we drag and drop the group dot group box it is grouped there the, the it is grouped the tools together Okay, so okay, so okay. What I'm going to so I'm going to drag one label. This label I'm going to name it as number one. Press enter key. So this select this one. I'm going to go to the font property. This font property is bold fourteen size fourteen. Select the group box. This two box I name it as add two numbers. Add two numbers. Press enter key. Press enter key. Now this one number one you have to click on this here. You have to adjust it at 14. Or click on this. Drag it over here. This one. Click on it here. Select this group box. You have to change the font size little bit to 11 okay. now here now what I am going to see, select this one control C to copy control B to paste and get enter copy it this one I am going to select this one this one should be text to press enter key now here let's arrange them like this now let's drag one to text fields. One text field. This one I am going to name it as txt. txt num1. The center key. Same text field, just control C, copy, control B to paste and get another text field. This text field I am going to name as txt num2. 
press enter key now let's drag one button this one you have select this you have to give the name as this button you have to change the text as okay and press enter key so simple you can have a simple form so now we have this one this button click on this here okay, we have to, if you want to change the for background color of if i need to be change it as uh, this color here it has been changed font color also font also we have to uh, font family also i would be change it as bold with 12 it would be fine okay right now what i'm going to select this one form border style also we will be able to manage the border style that is we have to change it as a uh, none it's a none here yeah, it's none so so you have to write the fixed window you change that fixed window right so let's select this one i want to when the form is appear on the screen i, I need to be display as center screen you have to select the alignment as center now let's select click on this Yeah, it's working successfully it has been working successfully you will be able to see now i want to add this thing number so double click on this okay i have to first i want to declare two variables which are integer variables so you have type in okay you have to write num1 first variable second variable num2 third variable i'm going to get it at dot right now I want to assign these text fields. Those variables, I want to assign it of these variables. Uh, these variables. Okay, so num1 equal, I want to get I want to assign it here txt num1 dot text. Right. So if you are right like this, you can see it, it show there because we have to convert it. Okay, if you are making any validation part, this which is a calculation part in order to calculate the in order to convert them as a text field text boxes so you have to use this one in pass this is the method which will be convert as a integer right so the same thing just control c to copy control v to paste over here this num2 text number right now once a number you enter on this text field it is assigned to the num1 variable what is the number you are enter on text field number two text field it assigned to number two variable so i need to calculate the total you have to type dot variable over here num1 plus num2 get those numbers and assign into these two will be calculated and assigned to the top so i want to print out as a, this number as a, i want to show as a message box so i want to say the message box we already uh, discuss about my last video tutorial how to make that message box so message box dot show that's a method show okay i'll write that your answer is answer yes right comma second is here you have you can read it. it's a text it's a caption message box caption it's a total okay total comma you have to write the message box button message box button click ok comma you have to write this one as a uh, message box icon you have to write message box icon which is i want to display as a information that make as information simple text right now here your total you are right plus which one this number total your printer that's it that's the thing you have write it so now what you are going to now let's yeah yeah 56 56 click that button here successfully display total your answer is this okay instead of that you have simply you have to write this one your answer is your answer is you have to write this one, answer is bit like this total instead of this one 
you can get rid of these lines now let me make things uh, okay now let's see a bright like this it accept uh, something string that's why it's a problem right now let's set it take 56 your answer is perfect okay your answer is you can see this answer is okay last okay now in order to if you want to write like this you have to write uh right okay this is how we have make it as if you have uh, some problem to write dot dot there is a method called two string if you are implement that that go, that error go away okay in order to you can write like this you, this is also the possible you have to write dot dot two string method it has been converted okay it's okay right so simple we have uh, achieved this one this course code i provide in my video description you will be able to get them thank you for watching